everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. It's Fiona here and today's video is an Asda haul. It is slim and world friendly and family orientated. Um, so where it's appropriate I will give you the sin values and where it's more for the family I will let you know. So I'm going to start with the frozen stuff. First of all I've got the as the breaded chicken dippers. Now they're actually for Abby, but when I checked the app, they're only one and a half cents each, which isn't too bad, but I think I'll stick to my corn nuggets at half a cent each. We have got the Asda steam bags of whole grain rice and I love these. These are free on Slum and World, only four minutes in the microwave and you've got a really, really good portion of rice and I prefer whole grain. I find it slower releasing and better for me. Now these are also for Abby, they are the bacon and cheese beef quarter pounders, they look and sound delicious and they're actually only five cents when I checked the app which isn't bad, um, but I got these for Abby to have when Jack and I are having the surf and turf burgers from Iceland which are amazing. Oh here come the puppies, hello Molly, hello Clyde, hello Brooke, hello, hello Rana, hey -hey. hello Jack, no more moonies please. <laughs> Jack did a mini when I was trying to record earlier on today. So that is the bacon and cheese quarter pounders. And then we have some fish. Now Jack took the mickey out of me because... Yes! Jack took the mickey out of me today, uh, the other day because I said to him, do you fancy fish this week instead of salmon? And he started laughing and he went, but salmon is fish. <laughs> but to me, salmon doesn't taste like fish. Fish tastes like fish and salmon tastes like salmon. What do you think, Brooke? Salmon is a fish. Salmon is a fish, yes. Every fish tastes different. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so, we do like to have at least one portion of fish a week, whether it's salmon or fish. <laughs> um, so, this week I thought we would try the Young's Gastro. Now, we've got the... Two sweet chilli marinated, is it bassa or basa fillets? I'm not sure, that's how much I'm into my fish. And these are one and a half sins each. Now I will say, please do check the app for all the sins. Um, don't rely on what I'm telling you, in case I've made a mistake or in case some and world do change them, which they do quite regularly. So the sweet chilli ones are one and a half sins each. And we've got the Cajun ones which are one cent each. So I'm going to look forward. I don't know which ones we'll try this week. I'll wait and see. Right, I'm going to put this away and then I'll come back to you with the chilled stuff. Okay, now all the fresh food. I have got two packs of the smoked bacon rashers. These are free on the plant as long as you take off all the fat. So I basically give the fat to the dogs and cook the rasher, the rasher, the medallion bit in the middle. I just find it a much more cost effective way doing it that way than buying the actual medallions. We have these, which I will call CWs because if I call them by the long name, the dog will get excited. Um, these are for the dogs. Um, they get frozen and they're giving them as a treat. These would be free on the plan if you took the skin off. I have got, we're going to be doing quite a few things with chicken this week. So I saw these, they were on offer, I can't remember, oh yeah, £10, 9.95 for the boneless thigh fillets. And it's a huge pack, you're getting a bit of glare there. It's a huge pack. Um, and I thought I would try the thighs, a lot of people say they're juicier than... Um, the bone, the, the bones, for goodness sake, Fiona, than the breast. And a couple of the recipes I'm going to try do specify thighs, so I thought I'll give them a go. Take the fat off and they will be free. Now the cooked meats, I have got some carved chicken breast, which is free on the plan. And that's excellent either as a snack or for adding into meals for a quick dinner. I have got the Feaster cheeseburger, which is for Abby. I've not got a clue what the sins would be in that because... I mean, ugh. <laughs> that's Abby's staple Monday night dinner and she likes it, but to me it's way too processed. These are for the dogs. I got two packs of these. I'm not sure how many sins they add each because they're literally for the dogs and for Abby when she's giving them, uh, giving them to the dogs. Right, on to the dairy things. I got two packs of the cheese strings twisted. You get two of these as a healthy extra A. 
I got two packs of the grated mozzarella cheese. You get 40 grams of that as your healthy extra A. I got these for Abby. She likes these in the morning as she's heading out the door because she's never up in time for breakfast. And it's the Actimel yogurt drinks, blueberry and strawberry. I believe the blueberry are three and a half cents a bottle and the strawberries four cents. Something like that, but double check. I'm not going to have them anyway. I got two pots of the fat free quark. That is three on the plan and very versatile. I got, oh, they've gave me the normal squirty cream and not the low fat squirty cream. Boo. Okay, I won't be having that. I'm not sure how many sins that is. Really not happy. The low fat stuff is um, 12 and a half grams for one sin. Not happy. I got semi skim milk. That's for Brooke and Jack. I'm not sure um, how much of that you get for your healthy extra A. I have the cocoa dairy free milk and I get 400 mils of that for my healthy extra A. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, fruit and veg. We've got butternut squash waffles. Butternut squash is a speed food and that's just a nice alternative um, to potatoes for a little change. We've got baby spinach which is a speed food and so versatile goes with anything hot or cold. We've got courgettes which until recently I didn't think I liked but now I really really like them. Again really versatile. Look at this we've got peppers and they're actually mixed. We've got a red, a yellow and a green. That rarely happens. Ranach, you're in the way. Please move. Like, get lost, Mum. I'm tired. I've just been on a walk. How do we move? Would you like Abby to give you... I've just sat down. A sausage? Who's this? Does Ranach want a sausage? <laughs> oh, I thought he might. I thought that might make you move. Yes. Right, Abby. Abby, get your sausage. Right, sorry about that, folks. I got some salad tomatoes. Told you Abby steals them. They're meant to be for the dogs. <laughs> got some salad tomatoes, which are a speed food. I prefer them cooked to raw, but I can have them either way. And some mushrooms, which are probably my favourite veg, and they're a speed food. Baby corn. Whoops, upside down baby corn which is a speed food and I'm going to use that in my ginger chicken that I'm going to make tomorrow. Oh, that was one of the things that I got the chicken thighs for. I'm going to make the ginger chicken using the Pepsi Max ginger. I've not made it for ages and I really, really like it. So I'm going to make that tomorrow. Um, some spring onion, which is a speed food. A decent sized cucumber. Oh, that's a good size. I need to hide that from Abby because she steals it. And that's a speed food. got some carrots which uh, are a speed food and they're lovely with the JD seasoning salt and pepper seasoning on it. I got a sweet to do a singing sweet and no Abby I don't mean a Swedish person who's singing. I, I got sweet potatoes um, to do some wedges. I do like sweet potato wedges as opposed to, I do like normal chips as well but sweet potatoes just got that little edge. And the only little bits of fruit... Oh, wait a minute. I ordered frozen fruit as well. Ah, as da. Um, I got some red seedless grapes for Brooks Pack Lunch. They're a free food, not a speed food. And I got some watermelon fans for me. That's a speed food. And I didn't get any other fresh fruit because I've got... I did have a load of frozen fruit until the girls decided they wanted a smoothie today. So now I'm depleted on my frozen fruit and Asda hasn't brought my strawberries. Not happy. <laughs> right, I'll put this lot away and I'll be back with the cupboard food in a second. Okay, now we have a Mahousa bag of whole wheat fusilli. Um, again, like the rice, I like the whole wheat pasta. I just think it's slower release. Keep your fuller for longer and it's better for you. Um, that's free on the plan. I've got four tins of the Green Giant sweet corn, which is free on the plan. Sweet corn is free, not a speed like the baby corn. I've got four pack of Skipjack tuna chunks in spring water. That's free on the plan because it's in spring water. If it's in any kind of oil, it would be sinned. 
for example, the John West Infusions Tuna Chili and Garlic. That is three and a half sins, I think, for the whole tub. Um, and I just fancy trying that either on a jacket potato or with a salad. We'll see what that's like. Now, this is actually for Brooke, the Heinz Spaghetti Bolognese in a tin. But when I checked the app, it's actually only four and a half cents for the whole tin, which isn't bad. Um, I prefer to make my own anyway, but I thought it's not bad if you're ever in a hurry and you're looking for something quick. I have got the extra special meringue nests. These are three cents each and they are delicious with some quartering fruit on top or crumbled through some yogurt or flavoured quark with fruit like an eaten mess um, so I do like a meringue mess it just gives you that sweet fix now I got some baking powder because I wanted to try the all brand cakes that I've seen on Bell My Weight Loss Journey's channel and I think it was Emma Jane Godsell who um, showed us how to make them and I was desperate to try them however they substituted the all brand for bran flakes and I thought that's not going to work the same so I sent them back and I'm going to have to wait and get the all bran another time anyway so baking powder uh, passata with chilli and pepper that is free on the plan and speed I believe I also ordered the garlic one as well which I love but they were out of stock some crisp breads for a wee change from a sweet snack these are one and a half cents each and they're lovely with some healthy extra A cheese on it or maybe a bit of banana or if I fancy splashing out on sins, maybe some peanut butter and banana. I have got the Fibre One Carrot Cake Bars. I got these ages ago when they first came out. They're four cents each and then I forgot about them. However, when Muller Light brought out their carrot cake yogurt, I thought, oh, there's a combination. So I break up the carrot cake bar into quite small pieces, add the carrot cake yogurt and put it in the microwave for a minute and it's delicious. It's like having um, carrot cake and custard. Really, really good. And if you include the half a sin for the yogurt, it would be four and a half cents for that dessert. And it's really, really nice. Now, I've not got any yogurts in this haul because I did stock up on them the other day. And I have to say, as I was terrible, I really was needing some more carrot cake yogurts. I love them. Um, and they had two trays on the shelf, which were dated the 26th of February. And this was the 1st of March that I was in. Please excuse the dog playing in the background. Uh, so they had two trays of the carrot cake yogurts that were out of date by about three days, which was shocking. Um, thankfully, I noticed before I bought them because I would have been mighty peeved if I'd got home and then realised I couldn't eat them. Anyway, I digress again. I've got the Asda Raspberry Wheaties. These are delicious. You get 45 grams of those for your healthy extra B and they're so tasty. The raspberry in the middle is really quite tart and oh, just so nice. I really like them. I got the Weetabix Crispy Minis. These are the chocolate chip ones. You get 40 grams for your healthy extra B, but Brooke's, Brooke likes these in the morning for her breakfast as well. Okay, on to things which are not quite as slim and world friendly. As the chocolate hazelnut crepes, these are how many sins each were these? I did check, but they were way up, up here. Six and a half sins. I wouldn't be using six and a half sins on one of these, but you could if you wanted. That's the wonders of Slimming World. Um, these are for Brooke. Yes, you did hear the word crepe. I got them as a treat for you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I got the fruit winders for Brooke for her play piece at school. Again, they're for Brooke, but if you did want one, they are three and a half cents each, which isn't too bad. I got the Kingsmill 50-50 bread. That's for the girls, not for me. I don't think you can have that as a healthy extra B. I tend to use my healthy extra B on cereals rather than bread. I got, the, as the pancake shaker, I've got no idea how many sins that would be. That's for the girls on pancake day. Um, I will be supervising. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying that. What, Brooke, Brooke, what did Abby do last year? Right, so she was decided to make her own pancakes. And she put the lid on, started shaking. It went everywhere because the lid came off. She had to put the lid on properly. <laughs> so she had filled it up with the water, went to shake it, and the lid came off. 
went literally everywhere, all yes. over the, all over the cooker, mm -hmm. all over the mat dip, mm -hmm. and all over me, and all yes. over the floor. Yes. And all so I might not let her near it this year. Right. <laughs> all over that bit. The ones yeah, that didn't explode bit. everywhere were pretty good. They were pretty good, yes. <laughs> mm, no, they're okay. Right, I have got the multi pack of French fries. Now, because this mm. is a multi pack, they are 18 grams each, so they are four cents for all the flavours. If you get the separate bags, which are, I think, 21 grams, they're four and a half cents, so please be careful if you are eating them. But I thought, I don't have savoury very often, but I thought this week I'm going to have a wee change, shake it up a bit. And so I'm going to have some French fries or some crisp breads as a wee change. These are for... <laughs> Brooke loves prawn cocktail crisps. I don't know how many sins these are. Way too high for me. Can I have a pack now since you've showed them? What's the word? Please. Go on then. <laughs> I'm going to get my book then. Right, I'll be back in a minute with the juice. Okay, we're nearly there, you'll be pleased to hear. Right, just we have got cherries and berries and orange and pineapple squash, both no added sugar, so both free on Slimming World. We have got the Still McBee sugar-free cranberry and raspberry little bottles. Because it's sugar-free, it's free on Slimming World, but these are actually for Abby. She likes to take them to school. I've got this Fanta Zero Sugar Pink Grapefruit. I did try to get the grape flavour, which, is it Trudy Beanie's channel I've seen it on? Oh, I'm not sure. I, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Uh, I watched so many. Um, but our I haven't got it at all in bottles or cans, unfortunately. I got two bottles of the... Oh, that's free on the plan. I got two bottles of the Diet Coke Exotic Mango. I was trying to get the raspberry. I've only ever seen it once and they had one single four pack of cans in our Asda with the raspberry. I don't know where it came from or what it was doing there, but I managed to get it and it was really nice, but they've not got any more. They didn't have it on the website or anything. So I thought I'll get the Exotic Mango um, for a little change, free on the plan. And of course, Cherry Pepsi Max, which is my all time favourite. It's free on the plan. And that's why I'm trying to have a wee change. Normally I've got about three bottles of the Cherry Pepsi Max and two packs of the cans as well. But I am being good. I'm trying to up my water. And that's why I've got the um, more of the diluting juice, the squash. And finally, I've got some Zipsy old food and freezer bags for Brooks packed lunches and for storing things in the fridge and the freezer. And that is this. It was £108.67, I think, um, which is a lot of money, especially since I was in the other day getting yoghurt and things and eggs as well. Um, I will be getting a refund of about £2, I think, for the all brand, but that's it, it was still over £100. I have also decided that because they've not given me my frozen fruit, it was maybe me that didn't order it, I'll need to go and check. Um, and because I didn't get the all bran, I think I'm going to nip into Waitrose tomorrow um, when I drop Abby at school, she's got an appointment, so I might drop Abby at school and nip into Waitrose. And please excuse the dogs in the background. What I think I might do is... I will add the stuff that I get from Waitrose tomorrow onto the end of this haul rather than doing a separate video. And please don't worry about the dates that you saw on the fresh food today because this video will not be going up until next week. So I will be eating them in time. So don't think to yourself, oh my goodness, they're all about a week out of date. They will be fine. Okay, I'm going to go for just now and I'll be back tomorrow and let you know what I got from Waitrose. See you later. Hello again everyone. It's now the next day. I've just dropped Abby at school after her appointment and I nipped into Waitrose for the things that I couldn't get from Asda yesterday or that I forgot to get or whatever. Um, and I just thought I would show you what I got. I decided to show you before I go home because Jack will be in his bed when I go home. He's still night shift so it's easier to do it now rather than whispering when I'm at home. <laughs> okay, so if you bear with me, I'll turn you around and show you what I got. Oh, Waitrose didn't have any all bran either. What's going on? <laughs> Do you think the Slimming Worlders are on an all bran brownie cake phase and they've sold out everywhere? It's very strange. Um, 
they didn't even have their own brand, which I thought they might have, but hey ho! So I've still not got any all brand, so there'll still not be any all brand cakes for me. And uh, but I'll show you what else I got. Hold on. One thing that I did forget to order from Asda was apples. So I got some Essential Waitrose Brayburn apples and they were £1.60. But it wasn't bad actually. There's, what, half a dozen apples in there? Oh, there's a wee, a wee mark on that one, but never mind. Um, so I got some apples. I got the frozen fruit that I need. Oh, look at the state of the floor. Rebecca. I got some frozen fruit that I need after the girls um, used most of mine yesterday and I still think that I ordered frozen fruit yesterday from Asa but it didn't arrive, I'll need to check. Anyway, I got the Essential Waitrose Berries which is a mix of blackberries, black currants, red currants, strawberries and raspberries which is fine, 3 95 it was but it is quite a big bag, how much? Oh, it's a kilogram so it will last a wee while. That's the only slim and world things um, but... I also got some Cadbury milk chocolate spread. What, how many sins would that be? Let me have a look. It uh, is nine, 86 calories per 15 grams. So about four, four and a half sins for a tablespoon. That's not too bad, actually. The reason I had to get that was, Brooks, in fact, I'll turn you around in a minute and tell you why I had to get that and see if you agree with me or not. And the, oh, that was, how much was that? That was... Can't see it. Two pound fifty nine. Quite expensive, actually. And then for Abby, she wanted a packet of twirls, so I got her a packet of twirls. But they were one pound fifty each, or two for two pound on the Cadbury thing. So I got her some flakes as well. I don't know how many sins these are. I'm not even going to look because I would end up tempting myself. <laughs> right. So all together, just now in Waitrose, I just spent ten pound nineteen. So that's about one hundred and twenty quid I spent this week on shopping. Ouch. <laughs> right. I'll turn you back around and talk to you for a minute. Yeah, the reason that I had to get the chocolate spread was Brooke sometimes likes chocolate spread well she loves chocolate spread in her sandwich but every now and again I let her have a chocolate spread sandwich for her lunch at school but she still has her fruit and yoghurt and things as well however they've now sent a letter out saying that because of nut allergies Nutella is no longer allowed at school is it just me or is that a wee bit over the top? Um, I completely understand that it's a nut-free school. Don't take any nuts, products containing nuts, that sort of thing for play piece or anything like that because nut allergies are severe and they, they can be really, really bad. However, Nutella, which is hazelnuts, not peanuts, on a sandwich which is eaten in a dinner hall surrounded by staff, I think that's maybe a wee bit OTT. Does anybody agree? I think... Where does it stop? Is it if someone has a fish allergy, is no one allowed tuna on their sandwich? Or if someone's a vegetarian, is no one allowed ham on their sandwich? I mean, where do they actually draw the line? <laughs> I might just be being a bit sensitive about it because I've had to go out and spend £2.60 on another jar of chocolate. But I do think that's just a little bit much. Let me know if you agree. Maybe... I don't know, maybe you know someone who's got a severe nut allergy and maybe they have had a problem with someone sitting next to them eating Nutella on a sandwich. But I don't know. Let me know if you agree. I don't mind if you don't, just be nice about it. Um, yep, so that's my little shopping haul for this week. I'm going to head home now and put this stuff away. Uh, I'm starving actually. I might have some of the berries before I put them in the freezer. And... Um, Yep, so that's that. I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I know it's been a bit bitty with me chatting to people in between, but hey, <laughs> that's me. You should know that by now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye!